name this organic compound. Whenever you come across a question like this, the first thing you do is to identify the longest continuous carbon chain. So starting with this carbon, I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to check if there is another continuous carbon chain that may be longer than this five. And I see one here, which is this carbon. If I count from here, that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is longer than five. And therefore we're going to go with that six and not the five. So the longest continuous carbon chain, it doesn't matter if it is not in a straight line. So far it's continuous and it is the longest, that is what you go with. Now we figured out the longest continuous carbon chain. The next thing would be to identify the branches or what we call the substituents. Any group attached to this longest chain, so this is our longest chain from here down. Any group attached to this longest chain is the branch which means that this carbon, this is a branch. This also would be a branch or a substituent. Now there is also iodine right here. That is your substituent as well. So now we have all of that identified. We need to also remember that when we count the longest continuous chain, we must count from the side that gives the branches a lower number. Now for this particular one, the branches are attached to carbon three and four. Now, if I count from my right, this is one, two, three, and four. So it's still three and four. So you don't have to worry so much about it for this particular compound. But if you have a compound where you count from your right and the branches are closer to the right, then you have to count from the right, not from the left. Now name the substituents. A one carbon substituent is known as methyl group. This is also methyl group, okay? Now iodine as a substituent is gonna be called iodo, all right? Now we have all the names spelled out. The next thing would be to bring them all together. So we have two methyl groups and we have one iodo. Start with your substituent. Now, when we have two different groups of substituents, we arrange them alphabetically. So in this case, iodine is gonna come first. So we're gonna start by saying four iodo for this I. Then move on to three comma three. Why do we do this? Because there is two methyl groups attached to the same carbon three. So you cannot just say three. If you say three, you're only representing one of the methyl groups. So we're gonna repeat the number to show that there are two methyl groups attached to that carbon three, okay? These methyl groups, because they're the same, you can't just say methyl, methyl. We use a prefix for multiple identical substituents. So because you have two of them, I'm going to say dimethyl. Di represents two. So it's just telling us that on this carbon three, there are two methyl groups attached. Okay? So we move on from there. The last part of this naming would then be the cis continuous carbon chain. And that is HES for six. So the prefix for six is HES. And the surface is going to be A. This is because this compound is a carbon single carbon bond, which is an alkane. So that will end with A, N, E. And that is how you name this compound. 4 iodo 3 3 dimethyl -hazine. I hope this has helped you. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and follow for more videos like this. And thank you for watching.